I'm bashing in some brains. Singing in the rain. Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Only slept uh, a little bit. Can't get back to sleep because uh, I got a little paranoid. I guess from the thunderstorm or something like that. Which, that ain't good. So now I'm awake in the middle of the night. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do right now. I guess I'll get a little drink of water. That'll help you get back to sleep. Should get some, uh, some warm milk. That would be nice. That should be something that, uh, helps you get back to sleep as well. I could level up light-footed or nimble, which, mm, meh. I kind of want to save that skill point for when I level up something else. Look at that cooking's going really good. Ooh, we should level fishing. Fishing sounds like a good idea. And I think I have that, uh, advanced fishing book back at my other base, so, uh, we'll, we'll go check that out. I guess it wasn't a good idea to sleep here. I'm paranoid because I can't sleep in my own bed. And this is, this is really, uh, not a good place to be. Not a good time to be. <laughs> I really, yeah. I don't know if zombies are more active during the night, but I assume that they are. Let's turn this on real quick. At least I can get some use out of that. And hopefully, hopefully zombies don't, um, don't get attracted by that or whatever. Advanced fishing. It's five to six. Hmm. Intermediates. Three to four. Yes. Let's read this. This should get us back to Betty Bye, right? I think. Do you understand it, little Dayton? Sure, he does. Look at him just reading up a storm there. And, uh, yeah, I don't really want to stay awake all night reading either. Let's see if I can just get back to bed now. Now that I'm back in my, my nice base. I need to turn this off. Oh. Is it, is it dead now? Yep, battery's dead. Well, that lasted all of fucking five seconds. Oh, it's because I sped up time faster, so uh, whatever battery we had was drained basically immediately. Oh well, lesson learned. <laughs> Always remember to turn your lights off before you do some reading. It's good for your eyes! And I'm having some trouble uh, sleeping in my bed here. Can I, can I sleep? Not tired enough to sleep yet. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? It's midnight. You're just crazy. You're a night owl, Dayton. That's one thing we learned about you. And I'm gonna have to take a nap at some point in this episode because, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to pass out and just get eaten by zombies. That's not gonna be good at all. So now it's three. Can I sleep now? Yeah. Yeah, sleep in the chair since uh, my bed is blocked by shelves. I guess I'm gonna have to rip those down or something. Or move my bed if I want to uh, be able to use it. Okay, now it's 7.30 in the morning. Good morning, friends. <laughs> my name is Randy Day and I'm your humble narrator, etc, etc. We're here, we're doing the thing. Dang. I was, uh... That was quite curious. There's also no, uh... No timer for the sleep. You can't tell how long you want to sleep. I guess maybe if you set an alarm or something like that, you can, you can pick how long you're going to sleep, maybe. I should experiment with that a little more, but... Waking up at 11 at night is, is not a fun thing. I was awake from 11 to 3 in the morning, which, um... is awkward. I had my sleep broken up just a little bit, although I did go to bed at 7, so... Uh, I think I got my 8 hours. Yeah, it was just a little 4 hour break in there. <laughs> It was broken up a little bit. That's fine, I guess. Hmm. This is the inventory panel. Oh, really? This is the looting panel. Yeah. We're learning so much that we already knew. Oh, I'll need to stop by uh, for a little snacky snack somewhere. Little thirsty, little hungry. Hello, kitchen? Wonderful. Oh, and I guess I'll fill up that empty bottle as well. 
I didn't realize that I had an extra bottle. But I ain't complaining. That's good. Yeah, we'll eat a little of this to raise raise our happiness meter. And uh, that doesn't seem to really be working. <laughs> Uncooked herring. Oh yeah, more popsicles. More popsicles! Raise the happiness, you know. I guess I could just uh, grab a book or something like that. But I'm going to eat ice cream for breakfast. Because there's nobody here to tell me that I can't. Alright, happiness is, uh, or unhappiness is gone. Hey lady, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get down! Alright. We did the thing. There's lots of stuff in here that's not gonna go bad, and the stuff that is going bad is already going bad, so, um... I'm not sure what to make of this quite yet. I guess I could slice up some more watermelon. That would be good. Slice it. Slice it and dice it. Got my Ginsu knives. That's what they're called, right? Oh, they're not fresh. Mmm, well. I'll just go ahead and shove those back in there then. I don't want to deal with the uh, boredom and unhappiness that comes from eating stale watermelon. Which, it is kind of gross. If you've, if you've had a stale watermelon, it's not something that you would uh, be happy eating. Not because it tastes bad, but it just looks poor. And I think a uh, presentation is like most of a meal or something like that. Oh, we got some more zombies on patrol out here. But guess what? Dayton's on patrol too, bitch. Uh. Magazine. Might need that for later. Especially if I'm eating stale watermelons. Ah, oh, wonderfully done. I wanted to go uh, explore the rest of that little neighborhood, but I can't quite remember where it was at. So, I'm gonna beat up some more zombies, level up my blunt accuracy. That's really what I'd like to spend the skill point on. Boom. Blunt accuracy is already pretty good. But you can always do with a little more. Stay down, don't get up. Ooh, some chimps. Mmm, mm. sour cream and onion. And that's just fine. I could eat chips out here too, because there, there's nobody to say, wow, your breath stinks. Where's the toothbrush around here? I should uh, brush my teeth in. It's been a couple months. I'm probably looking pretty green in the teeth. Got some algae growth. Disgusting. And this is where that alarm house was, so that's why we got so many, uh, so many Zeds walking around. Just call them Zeds, not zombies. Or walkers. Yeah. Come up with a cool name for them. I think that'd be nice. Until I forget what the name that I came up with them. Wow. <laughs> Until I forget the name that I came up with for them. Wow, she got pretty close. There are definitely more zombies than there were. It's quite noticeable. Get down! Get down! Who are you? Who am I? A little bit of duct tape. Could take the beta blockers as well. Help me uh, from getting panicked and shit. In a thunderstorm? You got zombies everywhere and a thunderstorm is gonna fucking cause a panic? Okay, sure, whatever. This is, uh, that food mart, I think? Oh no, the school. I saw on a window there. Hello, school! Lovely to be back! I'll be the coolest kid in school now, because there's, there's nobody else here. And I guess I could search for some books in the library. But I already have a book that I'm supposed to be reading. It's that, uh, that fishing book. Anybody like that fishing book? I kinda do. I'm gonna hold up for a second and just, uh, give that a bit more. Yeah! What page are we on? Oh yeah. We're doing pretty good. And, uh, I just want my exertion to go down a little bit. There it is. Hmm. 
We'll get about halfway, and then I'll continue. Continue exploring the school. Oh, that's halfway. We need a math book, is what we need. Mm-hmm. Don't know shit about shit. Don't know nothing about nothing. Fresh ginger? Fresh ground pepper? Fresh ground pepper, anyone? Hmm. My goodness. Just another little snacky from the, the staff lounge, or whatever it is. Oh my, what did I do there? There was a little bar over my head, and I'm not sure what happened. But obviously something happened. Is it raining now? Yes. It is raining only slightly. And I forgot my rain poncho back at home. Hmm. I want to uh, kill zombies. Kill zombies in the rain. I'm bashing in some brains. Singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. I'm laughing at a zombie. Cause she's... Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Fuck. Oh my god. I'm bleeding. Okay. Let's assess our damage here. Fuck. That could be it. Oh my god. Scratched. Okay. It's just a scratch. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to die yet. Okay. Alright. We'll disinfect. We'll disinfect and we'll, we'll, we'll grab a, a bandage. Oh, fuck. Yes, disinfect this. Ah, scratched and bleeding. We'll bandage it up. Man, that is not good at all. I'm really glad that I didn't get bitten, but, um, but fuck. Ah. I didn't see that bitch at all. She came out of nowhere. How did how how is she so sneaky? She's dead. Uh, I did take my revenge, but uh yeah. I just hope that it's not too late. A scratch, a scratch, we can handle a scratch. I think. This house has got a lot of uh glues and whatnot, boxes of nails. That's rather helpful, if I end up living. I haven't been wounded by a zombie yet, so maybe the game will have uh, a little bit of mercy on me. I think getting scratched is like a 20% chance of zombie infection or something like that. Ah, uh, that really sucks. So, I'll do a little more reading, fill up my brain before it uh, becomes zombie, zombified mush. Oh my god. And I drop my bandage on the floor for no reason at all. No reason. Oh god. Oh god, please go away. Please leave my house alone. Alright. Gotta nip this shit in the bud. I should have been more careful because this is obviously a region that we haven't been to before. And of course I break a fucking window. Awesome. Ten out of ten. We're having a great day. Oh my god. Just make sure there's no zombies around. Or fight until there's no zombies around. That little uh, arm infection is freaking me out. It's only a scratch, which thank the Lord Jesus in heaven. But oh my god, I, I, I... That might be it. That might be how I died, coming around the corner and, and getting scratched by a fucking zombie. Not cool. Are you in here? He's knocking on the back door. Should I let him in? Okay, we're cornered. Please fall. Great. <sighs> Just read a little more of my book. Wait for the end times to find me. Oh my god. 
That's so disappointing. That's so supremely disappointing. Ah, a little drink of coffee. Mm. IRL, not in game. I didn't brew any coffee since I since I used the last of mine. I probably should. Because it is delicious, and then I wouldn't have to worry about uh, sleeping the correct amount so much. But ah well. Ooh, this is a nice house. Let's, let's say hello to people in this house. I knew you were there. Could hear him on the other side of the door. Banging real loud. Oh my god. Broken window. Many zombies, I'm sure. Well, it was a nice house, but I don't think this is a place that I want to stay anymore. Holy shit! That guy could have bitten me as well. Ugh. He was browsing through the bookshelf just like me. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm so on edge. I can't stand it. Oh man, I really hope this is not the end for me. I worked really hard getting my my house all put together real nice. All the windows over here are broken. There's just zombies everywhere in this this section of the neighborhood. Which means that I haven't been over here, but it also means uh, it's a very dangerous place to be. Garbage day is a very dangerous day. Alright. This uh, looks like a safe-ish place. Hmm, hickory smoked spice, mustard powder. They got quite some cooking going on in here. I tell you what. Oh, and this asshole's gonna break the window. Hey, hey, don't do it. That's right, just kind of run by him. Do not break my friggin' window. And I wonder if there's some sheets or some some such that I might use to settle down. Yeah, look at that. I got some right here. And I'm going to close all these curtains. Just to be safe. No sneaky peeky in the middle of the night. Not for these creepos. Close, close, close. Add sheets. Yes. And at least secure the bottom floor as best I can. Close my makeshift curtains. Well, there's a lot of uh, a lot of windows down here. Oh yeah, go outside. That's that's what I wanted you to do. Idiot. <laughs> All right. We need some more sheets, but I ain't got no more sheets. So we're we're dealing with it. We're dealing with it. It's gonna be just fine. Uncooked TV dinner. Some white chocolate. I think white chocolate keeps for a pretty good amount of time. Rotten bacon. I think the power's gonna go off relatively soon. I'm not looking forward to that at all. Mm-mm. Look at this. Look at this here. Fresh oranges, you can put it in your mouth and be like, I'm a football player. Er, er. That's what I used to do when I was a kid. Kind of wanted to be a football player until I played football and I was like, I don't really like sports. That's dumb. Severely depressed. Very bored. Queasy. Oh my god. Queasy? That's not good. That means the uh, infection is... Is getting worse. Um. Um. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's awesome. Oh god. <laughs> oh no! It's such a mean game. All I did was come around a corner. Ah. Uh. And probably uh, being in ill spirits does not help things either. Alright, we gotta take this bandage off. Let's disinfect it a little more. I guess that's gonna help, maybe. And slap the bandage on. 
Oh my god. That's not good. It's really bad. <sighs> I'm not resigned yet to my fate, but uh, I am rather worried about things. And I need to find a, a book or a magazine or something so I can find a way to forget my horrible situation. Yes, here is one. Amphibian Field Guide. The Tree Frog, one of nature's most gorgeous creatures. Unfortunately, it's also poisonous and horrifying, and if you touch one, you'll definitely die. Because frogs are dangerous, and everybody knows that. You should not lick a toad or something. Kids used to do it back in the 70s to, to get high, but that's when people were living in the 70s, and they didn't realize that getting high was not cool at all. And I'm like, thanks, book. What a kind thing for you to tell me. I'm going to go find a toad. That's going to help me forget reality for sure. <laughs> um, is it affecting my boredom at all? Ravaged by mourning and desperation. I really think I need to, uh, to get my spirits up in order to fight this infection. Oh, man. What a scary thing. I really hope I don't wake up dead tomorrow. And if you're a zombie, you do wake up dead. I gotta go find the, the coffin that I was talking about earlier. Bury myself in the coffin. There's nobody here to bury me anymore. Oh no. Everything's awful. Ah. <sighs> if I could find a magazine or something, it would definitely be faster than the, uh, the field guide, but the field guide seems to be working. Got rid of one of my moodles. And now I'm feeling a little queasy, so I don't really want to run it all the way back home and shit like that. Oh my god. Could this really be the end? Could it honestly be the end of the Dayton Does? We were having such a good time. I started today so hopeful. And, 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 and now it's over. We lasted two months. Got a, a huge base built and everything. And then, uh, and then it all went to shit. It all went to extreme shit. Ah, uh, that is depressing. I am depressed now. Alright, I guess I'll finish reading my, my fishing book. Although I don't know how much use for it I'll have when, when I'm one of the undead. Ah, oh, what a pisser, man. That's really not good. And I lost a skill point? Oh no, I put the skill point in fishing. That's right. I don't know what I'm talking about, leveling blunt accuracy. Although blunt accuracy is about ready to go. It's just a few more zombies, and we'll be fine. Anxious and on edge. Nauseous. Oh my god. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. We'll take some antidepressants. Do I have any uh, beta blockers? There we go. Gotta check my bandage before bed. It is dirty once more. Gotta keep this thing clean. Keep the infection. Uh, Alright, so it says just scratch now. I guess that's good. Is my body healing? I'm gonna eat one of these fish fillets. Mmm, mmm. McDonald's fish fillet. Cause it's good for ya! Anyways, it's 10.30. I, I've had about enough for today, so... <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy this episode where I possibly died, please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. And if you do, friends, I'll send you a Ninja Ball candy. Uh... If you've seen the episode on that, then uh, you'll know that they're not very good, but uh, you can you can have them. That's why you can have them. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, and until then, bye bye One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.